This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rice and Tarot. Here to do another weekly. Another weekly reading for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, please check in the description box below. All the information is there. For those of you that made donations to my channel, thank you very much. It was appreciated. Alright, this is going to be a reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Scorpio. Alright, so let's jump into this reading and see what Spirit has to say to you guys this week. Alright, at the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, you are about to receive a job offer, some kind of contractual agreement. You are definitely having a brand new beginning when it comes to money or something stable. So you have the Seven of Wands Monday. You are defending yourself against something, someone or in some situation. Probably somebody that is telling you they are pregnant or somebody that is older than you that you are in a relationship with. But you're not ready to forgive this person just yet because of the lies and deceptions that happened within the relationship. But you're still not making a choice whether you want to go or you want to stay because you're just being you. You're just making decisions based on how much you love this person and not sure if you want to go or if you want to stay. But you are waiting for something. You are waiting for something better to come into you. Alright, seven of wands. What are you defending yourself against? Not calling, not texting, not communicating with this person. Mm-hmm. About some kind of choice. Or feeling like you don't have a choice when it comes to communicating with this person. Because you really just, you, it's like, I don't want to talk to you. I really don't want to talk to you. There is nothing I have to say to you. I don't want to be with you and that's that. That's what it feels like. Because of something that broke your heart about a third party situation maybe okay you made a choice you made a choice when it comes to what you are passionate about and you choose to close off all communications with this person even though they may be pregnant for you or it's some type of motherly figure or some kind of nurturing energy. But you aren't willing to accept what is being offered. You're not even looking at what is being offered really. All you are thinking about is this person cheated on you. Mm -hmm. Or it could be you on them. Swap it if it needs to. Don't get offended, cross watchers. I am reading for the sign of Pisces, so. Alright, so you're not willing to forgive and offer anybody love or commitment or enter into a relationship just yet. And you voice that to them. It's like you told them, I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I don't love you anymore. There is no choice when it comes to love. I'm choosing me. I'm choosing to be alone. I'm choosing to be single. It could have something to do with that Aries or you just not caring to take charge of the situation. It's like you keep talking to this person and they aren't hearing what it is you're saying to them. It could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with. But somebody isn't listening. They aren't hearing. They aren't being receptive to what is being said. Because you or the person you're dealing with wants an equal give and take situation.
but there has been some lies and deceits that happen and you are in this defensive energy right now and just wanting to be by yourself or even if you're not wanting to be by yourself you want to be with somebody else other than this person because you know they aren't pregnant and you're not willing to work on this with them and you're not willing to have a brand new passionate beginning with them ouch that's harsh but there is a lot of people in this mix it would seem it could be a taurus Virgo, capricorn female a gemini libra aquarius female or a aries neo sagittarius male okay so now that i have specified that let me let you know what's happening okay so for some of you that is dealing with the earth sign you are about to cut them out you are about to use your head over your heart and cut them out because you're refusing passion with them right for those of you that are dealing with the air sign this person is very calculated they are very calculated and they know how to manipulate you very well and for some of you this person is going to trick you into feeling guilty for not wanting a relationship with them because you are going to have some regrets you are definitely going to have some regrets this week <clears throat> because of that betrayal that ten of swords betrayal could be you or the person you're dealing with i feel somebody stepped out in this relationship or somebody is holding somebody hostage i mean i emotionally hostage if that resonates with any of you this person is trying to tell you i love you i love you and but still nothing changes with them they want a new beginning they want you to think about it but you know what you went through with them and it's like no yeah it could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but this king is making decisions based on what he's passionate about he is very hard working yeah but you need to give this some time in order to get what it is you want you need to give it some time mm -hmm. we like everything now but sometimes now is not really the perfect time for us and that includes me so I'm not even trying to be judgmental in any way. Spirit, please give me overall energy for the sign of Pisces for this week. Alright, let me see. What is the overall energy for the sign of Pisces this week? Alright, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with one of these signs or this person is a motherly figure, probably the mother of your child, probably your own mother. And they are forcing you to make a decision, I'm feeling. About not standing your ground. At the bottom of the deck, we have the sun in reverse there is something that you aren't seeing Pisces something that isn't being illuminated to you but you should take the time out and look at this from all different angles I'm hearing because if you make a decision a rash decision before you get all your information you can definitely be in that five of cups energy at the end of the week all right so just be careful cautious take your time before you blurt out whatever it is you have on your mind take your time and assess the situation properly all right pisces let's see overall energy for the sign of pisces overall energy for the sign of pisces Spirit, come on. all right so two cards flip i'm taking them both it has something to do with a heartbreak third party situation somebody really did a number on your heart and you're not willing to forgive them or to accept what they are offering some of you this could be somebody asking you to reconcile with them but you are not willing to do that 
this person could have been older than you yeah you're not ready to give your cup of love to anybody you're not ready to stand in your own power you're not even ready to really listen and be receptive to this person ouch okay but this person is spying on you because they are quite obsessed with you the devil card is about obsession procrastination that kind of thing or it could be a capricorn you're dealing with but i don't see it to be a capricorn i think somebody is obsessed with you because they are spying on you this is somebody being obsessed and spying on you page of swords with the devil card but you're ready to move on <coughs> sorry you're ready to move on from this earth sign from this person that it has caused you a lot of grief and pain and start something new with probably a fire sign Sagittarius maybe wow okay because you're not getting an equal give and take situation from this person all right that's what I have for you guys this week have a good week Pisces